Um, mm. Yeah, okay. Oh, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Oh, God. We making butternut squash bread. From where? Oh, I saw it in the two. Jennifer, Jennifer Esposito's, uh, I said that weird, her recipe. Jennifer Esposito's gluten-free recipe, I guess for people with celiac disease. So What's a lot of, celiac? It, it's something you have a deficiency in your blood. I, I'm not sure. I know that's oh. ignorant. Or uh, you can't have gluten or something like, I don't know. I'll we look it up because okay. I know I'm not uh, getting it right. Okay, two cups all-purpose flour. Um, we, we changed it. I'll link to the recipe. You can see stuff we changed because it was just difficult to get the ingredients. Um, coconut milk or any non-dairy non milk. milk. How much is that? Whole um, fat, dairy, non-dairy milk. You need coconut oil, about a third of, I mean, a quarter of a cup. One teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon soda. And the baking soda. And the aluminum baking powder should be aluminum-free, yeah. Non-dairy yogurt, coconut. Okay. A half a cup maple syrup. Plus more over there to pour on later. Uh, one teaspoon uh, Himalayan salt. What the heck? Himalayan salt. And half a cup of uh, chopped uh, pecans, which is more than that. We're not going to put the whole thing. By the way, the Himalayan salt's expensive. That was like $4 just for a oh small little God. bottle. Then we need one teaspoon cinnamon and half a teaspoon ginger and half a teaspoon ground cloves and it half asks, a teaspoon uh, pumpkin. No, one whole tablespoon pumpkin pie spice. Yeah, we don't have that. What are you going to use instead? I don't know. I'm going to put a little nutmeg. It's the same thing anyway. Not the same, but anyway. So I'm going to start. Mixing. Oh, and half a ripe, very ripe banana. That's what it says. Here it is, right here. That's what I always go by. Add bananas to your desserts to make them sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start um, mixing the ingredients, okay? But this, you know, oh, the butternut squash? Oh, yeah, butternut squash. One medium butternut squash. And it says to uh, bake it on a sheet for 40 minutes, 375. Forget that. And we don't have time for that. So okay. my mom's just boiling it. Here it is. I'm putting the soda in there, the baking powder. And let's see. Oh, and the, the squash should be cubed, which my mom bought it pre cut into cubes. Where is it? Cloves. Oh, and when you're done with the squash, ba boiling it, I guess. You, oh my god, smells good. You're supposed to put it in a, it says a zip top bag. I've seen Ziploc, I've never seen zip top, and squeeze it together to mash it up. Okay, I squeeze them. Here. Uh, what is this? Cloves, ginger. Oh, this is interesting. Eat very interesting, ingredients. that's right. All the coconut, coconut oil, coconut yogurt. I guess it's non-dairy yogurt because dairy affects people with celiac disease negatively. I realize it's so ignorant, you know, I didn't look it up. Cinnamon, of course. Okay, one teaspoon, the salt. Oh. You gotta grind that out. And that is a rich person's ingredient, a rich person's it's salt. Coming. Look at this. Oh my God, what do I do with the rest of it? Yeah, I don't know, use it. That's enough. No, it's not. <gasps> Look how much goes. I don't know, I can't, it's hard to tell. Yes. That's not a teaspoon <laughs> or whatever. How much am I supposed to use? One teaspoon. Can we open it? No, it's gonna be huge chunks of salt in there. Are you out of your mind? Okay, give me a little rest till we put some more. What the? Now, we're gonna, uh, this is this way. We're gonna put the um, nuts, the pecans, Okay, I don't know. This should be fine, huh? Mm -hmm. Three quarters of a cup. Um, <laughs> coconut oil. So now you can add the the banana, the maple oh syrup, my God. the coconut oil, and the yogurt. Third of a cup yogurt, non-dairy. Yeah. And then mixing a little at a time and alternating with the coconut milk. Or non-dairy milk. Okay. I prefer hemp milk. It's very healthy, if, at least if the claims are true and what I've read online is true. Okay, we're gonna put the banana now. Always be skeptical. Don't get, don't, 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 don't get that string off there. I am. But you always miss some and it drives me insane. Uh, you know what? 
just cut it. I don't like to smash things like a, like a, a cream or something. I like to feel, you know, and All right, feel. that's half a banana. It's too much. We have, oh, it smells good. Add the yogurt, the a third of a cup yogurt, that's five ounces. A cup is eight fluid ounces, so a little over half of that, I guess, or whatever the hell, I don't know. Let me eat the rest. And, um, the maple syrup. Oh, yeah. First time it makes it, okay, here it goes, maple syrup. Guys, this must be good. Now mix it, oh, and the um, squash. <laughs> Hey, it doesn't go. What's the benefit of using this rich person's salt? That's just if you're rich. Gee whiz, I could use I any... bought the smallest bottle I could. All right, uh, now get the uh, squash and uh, mash it all up. You know, I can't wait to taste this. Yeah, this tastes interesting. Butternut squash bread with banana. <sighs> and all kinds of coconut Gee whiz, stuff. I was... Oh. God, why can I put it like that? I like I like to taste the squash. Mash it up. I'm not gonna mash it up too much. Do it. Eh. Don't you have a stone or no, something? No, 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 no. They're gonna be mashed up. That's fine. Yeah, I want it mashed up. Okay, that bad. No, 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 no. Good God. You miss some. You should put the whole yogurt there. Ooh, it's nice and That's mashed up. That's fine. Sweet butter, corn, whatever it's called. Oh, this is hot. Ooh. Now, mix everything together and add in the milk a little bit at a time. Oh my goodness. Mmm. -mm. Look at that. It smells good yeah, though. Yeah, smells real good. So that's what people eat on that. Uh, have allergies or whatever. I guess so. I don't know. Oh, oh my God, smells good. Guys, this is good for everybody. Where's the nutmeg? Can I put a little nutmeg? Oh, look. Can we put the nuts in there? Yes. Yes. Add in, it actually says fold in the pecans while you're stirring, but I don't think it matters. Forget it. Add a little milk at a time. Again, this is hemp milk, really healthy. Kind of expensive because our country's so insane, it's illegal to grow hemp here or uh, make hemp products here so it has to be imported from Canada but it's legal to sell it so uh, that, that thank goodness we're protecting what people from criminals make hemp let milk. Me, let me think here. There's oh. no sugar in there. Mm. And we bake it for what 45 minutes? Yes and dad should be drinking that that hemp milk. That is way healthier than regular. He should not be drinking regular cow milk. What well, you be quiet? You drive me crazy. I, you know what? I have a headache all day today. So what? You're not going to have a headache if he gets a lot healthier because he drinks hemp milk. Okay, that's almost done. That's it. On the baking pan, coat it with coconut oil and sprinkle the all-purpose flour mix. So. Which you're supposed to make. It's complicated, but uh, we'll just put some flour on there. Okay, look. This is good. Ready. Oh, what is the flour? The coconut thing. Here. It's not gonna be big enough. No, of course not. Look at this. It's tiny. Look at that giant bowl. Well, you know what? I don't need black coconut oil. Okay. There you go. Line the sides too. Don't be stingy. Give me that brush. You don't want to miss any spots. I don't care. Flour. Mm. I don't have, I can do calligraphy now. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Why do we make so much mess? On it? Because we, we are in a hurry. Okay, let's see. I've never had a butternut squash bread, I don't think. Me neither. <laughs> and once this is done baking, we're going to take it out and put the maple syrup on top too. Oh, yeah. Just. Uh, pour a little bit on there. Oh, that is a big enough pan. I told you. There it goes. Uh, 35, 20, okay. 375 for 35 minutes. Where'd it go? Oh! Okay. This, it should be good. I want to taste that. Hey! Tastes good! 
Let's see. I think it's good. I think it's done. Not on the center, though. God. Nope, we gotta wait. We have to wait. The, the batter inside is still not fully yeah. cooked, so it's stuck to the knife. 41 minutes. It has to be done. Oh. And of course, you left that little flower on there, so that's why that's, that's okay. white. Look at that. We let it cool off a little bit, huh? And then I have to turn it upside down. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. I think it looks good. Let me see it. Look at this thing. <laughs> Just go ahead. How do you know you're supposed to turn it upside because down? Because I saw that. You have to. Oh. Do like this. Nice. Came out pretty well. Whoa. Wow, it's steaming. It's okay. Looks so good. Look at this. You know what? I think this is going to be real good. It smells good. Mmm. Let me put this. So we'll let it cool before we put a little maple syrup on top. Well, we're going to cut it for it, aren't we? Or I don't know. You going to eat some? Yeah. How about we cut it and we put the syrup in Why? the plate? I don't know because it's going to get soggy, the whole thing, if you let it. What kind of face is that? Oh, that's a lot. It's a drizzle it, not pour it on like milk. Drizzle means like get across like a zigzag pattern quickly, not a ton over here. Yes, exactly. See, but over here, 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 and here. It's fine. The syrup distribution is awful. Wow. Oh, look at it's that. Steaming. Mm. Get your hand out of the way. Nope, put that back on the side. Get your hand out of the way. Get, your, get the knife out of the way. Good God. Mm. I'm gonna eat with my hand, okay? It's bread. Okay, well, I got my pants, I got my Oh, listen, it's very moist, like they say in the chew, you know, they eat it with Carla Ho <laughs> and the other guy. Okay. Okay, you want to eat a little bit? All right, Here. Okay. Oh, God. That's made with the hemp milk that I gave you earlier. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. By the way, yeah. Yeah. Well, come here. Well, I don't know which way you're talking. The fridge is full of... This is the hemp milk, so yeah, when I you want milk, shake it. Night. No, you didn't know this because I yes, brought it today. Well, there so, was some in there from yesterday. No, there wasn't. Well, I could have swore I saw no. this. Yeah, no, you didn't. <laughs> well, uh, I brought okay. it over this afternoon. But this is the hemp milk. milk. When you drink some, just shake it, and it's really good. It's full of, like, omega-3 and 6 acids, which are good for your joints and circulation and cartilage and everything. Well, okay. It's I healthier thought... than cow milk. That's we're... for baby cows. Yeah, we're getting so many variety of milk that it's hard for me to know what to drink or not to drink. Okay, well, and I'm still drinking 2%, right, right? No, yeah. no. You should be drinking hemp milk. That's it. Okay. I'm Look, guys. Two, okay, it's okay. It's fine. I'll no, tell you what it is. No more cow milk. That's for baby cows. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, Dad. Be careful the left turns. Guys, this is good. You're not going to expect it like a cake or don't, anything. Don't look just because my hand moves. it's fine. It's really good. Oh, my God. Right, it's this bread. syrup. Mm -hmm. Very moist. Very tender. And I think it's very healthy. It's no sugar except a little, you know, the, the maple syrup I put in there. Look at this. This is really good. Oh my God. Y you get the mm. significance of mm. drinking healthier milk, right? Hemp milk. Yes. Not No more cow milk. No more. Even though I told you years ago, yes. almond milk, soy milk. But let me take care of one thing at a time. This thing is really darn good. If you don't want anything sweet, 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 this is the thing. Yeah. It's very moist. It's very smooth in your mouth. It's really good. It doesn't take long to take it. To, I mean to make it, and it smells like fall, you know, like butternut squash and cloves and cinnamon and all that stuff. Ginger, little dust of ginger, they give a little bite to it. Make it and enjoy it, and it's good for with cup of tea. Even it's good with warm milk. 
Hemp milk. It, it, warm milk with honey and this, or just coffee, anything, instead to eat all the other stuff. But it, the butternut squash and the pecans and everything else, it gives them some different and good and settled and smoothie uh, taste to it. So, click like or favor and enjoy and the, uh, I mean with the syrup on it, it's really good. Look at that. I think we did good today. And you think you put up uh, sugars and everything? No. That, That's right, we didn't put any, add any extra sugar to no this. No sugars, no eggs. That's no, good, I like that. Uh, you know, until next time, we're gonna have this month, try to put more recipes in it, try to cook a little more to your health and make this, okay? Please make this, okay? And make me happy if you share the recipes. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye, <sighs> until next time. Oh my, mmm. Syrup goes good with it. Okay, Angelo, that's it, I gotta go. Go.